Hey guys, welcome to uh, yet another instalment um, in the differentiation uh, series. Um, particularly looking at the third differentiation rule, and the final rule I guess, the quotient rule. Okay, um, the last lesson we actually looked at one similar question to this. Um, so I'm going to look at, uh, at this example, and we're going to apply the rule to this particular example. So we're going to look at uh, 3x minus 5 over 5x plus 2. Okay, now in previous lessons what we've sort of done, we've looked at this and rewritten it as 3x minus 5 brackets and then put 5x minus 2 to negative 1 in brackets and did that way. And then we can do a product of a product rule. So the product rule from last one, so uv dash plus vu dash. Um, however, there is a rule which is used for the quotient rule. Now remember quotient means divide. Okay, So if you have a rule where you're dividing like this, we've got a, another rule that we can use which states that vu dash minus uv dash divided by v squared will give you the same result for the derivative. Again, if you think about u and v, that u on top, v on the bottom. So the first thing is always, or, or is always u. So if we look at this question, we do it this way. Okay, so v u dash. So let's do v. v is simply just 5x plus 2 multiplied by u dash. So we need to differentiate the 3x minus 5. And that just becomes 3. Minus, now we're doing u v dash. So u is 3x minus 5. And then we're multiplying by the differentiation of v, which is 5. And it's all over v squared. So in this case, it's 5x plus 2 all squared. Now if we just uh, simplify this a little bit more, we get 3 outside of 5x plus 2 minus 5 outside of 3x minus 5 all over 5x plus 2 squared. Okay, now what we can actually do, we can simplify this even further. Because these are fairly um, straightforward ones, we can do um, 3 times 5 is 15x plus 6 minus 15x plus, because minus 5 times minus 5 is plus 25, all over 5x plus 2 squared. 5x minus 15x disappears, so we're just left with 6 plus 25, which is 31, over 5x plus 2, all squared, and we can leave that as our actual answer. Okay, so what kind of looks challenging, um, it actually isn't too bad, okay, if you remember the rule. Now, yes, you can use this rule each time, that's fine, there's no issues doing that. It just for the more challenging questions, um, I mean, you got like uh, you know the square root on the bottom part of it. If you don't like dealing with um, you know negative or halves and that type of thing, this is a very straight way forward way of doing it. But as I said, you can get away by using the product rule most of the time. Okay, so let's have a look at a second example. Um, y is equal to let's do four x cubed minus 5x plus 2 all over x cubed. Okay, so let's use our rule. y is equal to v u dash minus u v dash over v squared. So v is x cubed multiplied by u dash. So 3 times 4 is 12x squared minus that becomes minus 5, so I've differentiated that part of it. Minus, now uv dash, so u is this bit here, 4x cubed minus 5x plus 2 times it by v dash, which is uh, 3x squared, all over v squared, so it's x cubed squared. So y dash is equal to, okay so let's just simplify a few things here now. Um, just be careful, um, here I didn't put brackets around that part, 
So I should do that just to make sure because otherwise I might not actually multiply them together. Okay, so if I multiply these together, we get 12x to the power of 3 plus 2 is 5 minus 5x cubed minus now you can do some one hit that's minus 3x squared times 4x cubed so 4 times 3 is 12x and 3 plus 2 is 5 minus and a minus makes a positive 3x squared times 5x makes 15x cubed a negative and a positive makes a negative and it's 6x squared all over x to the power of one inside one outside x power 6. Now you can do this in more lines of working if you want. I know I'm skipping a couple of steps. Okay, so we now want to um, add a subtract like term. So we've got 12x to the power of 5 minus 12x to the power of 5. They disappear. We've got minus 5x cubed plus 15x cubed. So that gives me 10x cubed. And then we've got minus 6x squared all over x to the power of 6. Now again we can simplify because we've got x's on top and x's on bottom. We can even factorise this out. There's probably a better way of doing things. So we can factorise that out and say it's 2x squared outside of 5x um, minus 3 all over x to the power of 6. And then we can further factor and say well, x squared goes there and it goes four times there. So we're left with two outside of 5x minus 3 all over x to the power of 4. And I could probably leave my answer that way. Or if you wanted to, you could leave it as um, 10x minus 6 over x to the power of 4. It doesn't really matter which way you put it there. Okay, so again, that's a slightly more challenging question. They do get quite tough, you know. I won't uh, say, that, say that they don't, because they definitely do. Let's have a look at uh, one of the more challenging ones. Um, we're going to do um, root uh, square root of x minus one over two x minus three. Now, again, if you like the pro um, the product rule, you can put that as um, in the form of, I guess, x to the negative one to the power of a half. Um, times 2x to the negative 3 to the negative 1. You could do it that way, but we're going to be using the quotient rule for this one. So, dy dx, we're going to use that over 2x minus 3. Okay, so vu dash, so 2x minus 3 times, differentiate the top part, a half brackets x minus 1 to negative a half times 1, because it's there, plus, actually, ooh, I nearly did that one wrong, didn't I? Minus, minus uv dash. Okay, so it's x to negative 1 to the power of a half times, and then if I differentiate the bottom part, let's have a look, it's just going to be 2. All over 2x minus 3 squared. Okay, so dy dx is equal to now let's group a few things. Uh, 1 times a half is just a half. So we get a half outside of 2x minus 3 outside of x minus 1 to negative a half minus 2 outside of x negative 1 to the power of a half all over 2x minus 3 squared. Okay, so if you get to that point, to be honest, I'm pretty happy. However, we now need to uh, really start simplifying down. And this is where this stuff gets quite tricky. Um, obviously, I want to put this um, in terms of a fraction. But what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to split these two fractions up. Because obviously, the two needs to come down the bottom for this first one. But it won't be on the bottom for this one. So we want two different fractions. So we're going to have 1 times 2x minus 3 is this, that over so it's 1 over 2 and this whole thing is on the bottom so square root of x minus 1 minus 2 square root x minus 1 over 2x minus 3 squared be careful because I've got to put that 
one there as well, didn't I? 2x minus 3 squared. Okay. So they should be next to each other. So be very careful. You can see how easy it is to, to forget things. Now, to be honest, I want to add these two fractions together now. Um, now that I, I want to make sure I've got a common denominator. Now that I've got this uh, 2 on the bottom and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, so in order to do that, we need to multiply this thing by the what we don't have. So we're going to multiply it by um, 2 root x minus 1 and multiply this by 2 root x minus 1, which would give me 2x minus 3 minus... 2 root x minus 1 times 2 root x minus 1 all over 2 root x minus 1 and then 2x minus 3 squared. Again, we can simplify further and further here. I'm probably going to run out of some room. Um, okay, so we get 2x minus 3. Now, if I times these two things together, we get hold on what what we might do yep yeah, that's that's okay so two um time root x minus one times two root x minus one. sorry there two x minus three minus if we multiply those out we get um two times two which is four actually I should put the four at the side of the brackets there so two times two is four brackets and then root x minus 1 times root x minus 1 is simply just x minus 1 all over that bottom part of 2 root x minus 1 times 2x minus 3 squared um, so 2x minus 4x is minus 2x minus 3 plus 4 minus 3 plus 4 is plus 1 and 2 root x minus 1 2x minus 3 all squared and there we have it that's our answer as hard as it might be also you could have had the two outside the brackets there I just realized that um, but again look the same uh, things apply for each of these questions okay um, my dy over dx is equal to um, v u dash minus u v dash all over v squared okay you don't have to do it that way as I said you can rewrite it so you can make it um, as a product question where it's just going to be u v dash plus v u dash and do it that way um, I'm very happy for you to, for to do it that way as well both ways will work um, but as I said it, uh, yeah, it gets interesting it gets fun um, think of it as a challenge um, always, you know, do a question, check your answer, work towards an answer if all else fails. Um, but look, yeah, this stuff is fun. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do.